All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, the one that's our elders and apostles of great meals, and that do it well, and citations and blessings to you, Akram, now pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity. All right, today I would like to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, How to Escape the Danger, the Danger to Come, all right, or the Coming Danger, all right? And the only way to escape these things is by serving, all right, calling the names of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, because as it says... Which, um, I'm gonna hold that. But as it says in the book of Proverbs, all right, this is how <clears throat> this is how we're gonna escape that judge that that judgment and danger that's gonna be out here because it's all coming from the Lord, man. All right, destruction, peace, all right, anything and everything comes from Yahweh Shem Al Shai. So this coming destruction that you see, all right, this famine, these these uh prices raising, all right, you see danger, death, all right, coming at a mass scale. The only way to escape these things is by serving and calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, right? With faith. It says, Proverbs 18 and 10 says, The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. So the name of the Lord is going to be that strong tower in these days to come and his wisdom and knowledge. This is um, Isaiah 33 and verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. All right, what's another thing that is to come that is going to bring great danger? All right, that, that MOTB, all right, that CHIP that is going to be injected inside of a lot of these people, man. Injected inside their hands or, or their foreheads, all right, to bow down to, to that beast, all right, Esau Edom into his ways and, and his ways of life. All right, and if you don't, you know, take that, it's going to, uh, you know, you, you're going to be put to death, but hey, you, and you're supposed to. A, a put your life on the line before taking that, that MOTB because the Lord is going to destroy you, man, in a horrible fashion by way of fire, as it tells you in um, Revelation, the 14th chapter. All right, and it's going to be a horrible, tormentous death, man. And you don't want to go through that. And the only way to escape that is a, by uh, having this wisdom and knowledge. All right, it's going to be a wise thing to lay your life down for Yahweh Bashim al Shai and not bow down to the ways of Esau Edom as um, uh, um, Eleazar did. And uh, was it uh, Second Maccabees, the sixth chapter? You know, he hey, he said, "Hey, I'm gonna grab that," because you cannot escape the Lord, man. No matter what. It's in the other one. Yeah, Second Maccabees. Yep, this is Second Maccabees six, and I get straight to the point. Twenty six says for though. For the present time, I should be delivered from the punishment of men, right? Because that's what's going to happen if you hey, say, well, you know what? Hey, I'm, I'm just going to take it. You know what? You, you escape the punishment of men. You escape being thrown into a, a concentration camp, you know, put to death, be hit, whatever it may be. Right? You escape that punishment of men for, for the time being. Yet, should I not escape the hand of the Almighty, neither alive nor dead? So you don't escape the hand of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. If the Lord... Wants to torment you and bring you through immense hell, man. For as long as he wants to do it, he's going to do it. All right? You will not die, man. The Lord the Lord can truly can truly torment you forever and ever if he wanted to. Matthew 10 and 28 says, it says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is, a, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Because this is what the Lord is going to do to all those that take that MOTB. You're going to be tormented with fire and brimstone, man, for a very, very long time. You know, so, hey, hey man, don't they don't don't look at it. Well, you know, hey, I'm, I'm going to escape, you know, the punishment of man for, for the time being. Don't fear. Don't fear, man, man. What can man do unto me? All right. As uh, it says in Psalms 118 chapter, you know, what what can a man do to you? You know, besides kill your body, destroy your body, you know, torment your body for the time being. But the Lord can they torment your, your, your body and your spirit, man, all at the same time. You know, you go do that when those missiles come. You know, you're going to be just burning down here, man, a lake of fire. All right. For a very, very long time. The Lord is a merciful power. So he's going to, you know, not have it as an eternity. All right. Like they teach you inside of, uh, you know, the Christian doctrine. All right. You die. You you know, you'll be a sinner. You die. You go to hell. You know, you'll be burning forever and ever. No, nah, man, this this right here is a place of judgment. All right. Hey, the place under the sun is, is the place of judgment, the planet Earth. All right. And hey, here in America, it's going to be that lake of fire. That place of ultimate judgment, torment from the Lord, man. And the only way to escape that is leaning onto his ways and his righteousness, man. So we got to call on Yahweh Shemal Shah. We got to seek the Lord. 
Hey, why he may be found. Isaiah 55 and verse 6 says, Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And hey, how do you seek the Lord while he is found? All right, coming to the prophets, coming to the, the men of the Lord, man. Seeking the answers, getting the, the answers from us because a hey, Lord is not going to come down and, and break bread with you, you know, talk to you. And hey, you're going to have to talk to a mortal man. You're going to have to talk to one of us, the prophets. As it says in um, Amos 3 and verse 7, all right, surely Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right, he has revealed his secrets unto us, man. So we know what's going on. We, we, we understand. We see this clearly. You know, so this is how you're going to get this answer. This is how you're going to seek the, seek the Lord, man, while he may be, while he says, call ye upon him while he is near. It's how you call upon the Lord while he is near, seeking the prophets and hearkening unto our way and hearkening unto what we're telling you. It says, let, let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. So yeah, the Lord is a merciful power, man. It doesn't matter, you know, what you may have been doing inside of your, you know, your past life before you came into this truth, you know, your life before you came into this truth, man. You know, a, a just just seek the Lord and a fight. You know, pray to Yahweh Shemal Shine, pray that his mercies ran down upon you and a work and have those works to follow it, man. You know, because hey, the Lord is going gonna, is, is gonna to have that mercy upon you. He will have that mercy upon you, man. He's a merciful power. He's not a man that he should lie. All right, if you put that diligence in for your Yahweh Shema Shai, you have a good chance of making it. All right, but it's all, it all boils down to the mercy of the Lord. So this is uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 1. It says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he made. All right, we have that measuring that measuring stick. All right, Matthew is the twenty fourth chapter, Second Ezra is the fifteenth chapter, Second Ezra is the sixteenth chapter, and we see all these things uh, coming down the pipeline, man. We see this right now. All right, gas prices rising, uproars of people. As it says in the third verse, third verse, earthquakes, a uh, verse three it says, therefore when thou shalt be seen, it's like it says, therefore when thou shalt be seen earthquakes and uproars of people in the world, then shalt thou, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, because hey, the Lord has already declared all these things, man. It tells you that in uh, Isaiah. But we see, we see all this. The Lord said it in Matthew the 24th chapter, 2 Ezra 15, a Jeremiah the 30th chapter, Jacob's trouble. And we see this right now, man. How many Jakes are dying left and right at a mass, at a mass scale, man? High rates of, 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 of Jakes just dying. Rappers, you know, famous people, everybody just, just dropping left and right. Cause hey, this is the time where the where the, uh, the highest is, is visiting visiting the world. Which he made. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Uh, let me see. Bear with me. I think it's 46. Yeah, this is um, Isaiah 46 and 9. It says, Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. A hey, uh, second Ezra, the sixth chapter, all right? Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai already had all these things planned out before he even put it into effect, before he even began to create these things. He thought he had a thought process, all right? And then he, he he put it all into um you know in, 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 into the physical realm, all right? Now we have all these things, and now all these things are playing out, and none can escape and, and step outside of the boundaries of his will. That's what destiny is, all right? Destiny is something that is that is unchangeable. All right, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is destiny. These scriptures are destiny. All right, no one steps outside of that, man. So it says, uh, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all, all my pleasure. So Yahweh Bashim Al Shai will do whatever he wants to do. All right, Psalms, the 115th chapter, and the fourth verse. The Lord does whatever he wants to do because he is the only true living power. Uh, yeah, I got to read that. Psalms 115, verse 4. Yep, it's, okay, so it's three. Uh, it says, Psalms 
Psalms 115 and 3. But our power is in the heavens. He have done whatsoever he have pleased. Now let me start at one. It says, not unto us, O Yahweh, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Because hey, the Lord is a merciful power and he's all about his truth. It says, what, uh, wherefore should the heathen say, where is now their God? Because these heathen have, have idols. Right, they can see their God. They can physically touch their God, man. You know, <laughs> which, hey, that makes it no God. All right, because it, it's, it's, it's an idol. It's nothing but wood and stone. You have created, you have built this, this, this God up, this idol. You have formed this God with your hands, man. It's a, it's a, hey, verse, it tells you that verse four, man. It's a, it's a work of man's hands. It's no God, man. It's an idol, okay? But Yahweh Shemal Shai is a true living power who is going to bring all this death, all this destruction, and he's also going to bring the peace, all right? The protection for his elect, for those that are serving and calling on his name. And that's the only way that you're going to escape these things, man. It says, but our God is in the heavens. He have done whatsoever he have pleased. The Lord does whatever he wants to do, man. If he wants to bring a judgment, he wants all hell to break loose tomorrow, it's going to happen, man. All right? Because he does whatever he wants to do. These idols can't do that. It says, their idols are silver and gold, the work of man's hands. That's what these idols are. That's what JC is. That's what Buddha is. That's what Allah is. Nothing but an idol, man. It's not a, it's not a God. It has no prophecies. All right. It says Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, seek ye, seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. Not one of these shall fail. No, no one, not every single one, every single last one of these prophecies are going to come to pass, man. Second Ezra is the 15th chapter tells you that these words are faithful and true. There is no lie of the truth. Everything in this Bible is of truth, man. It's all going to come to pass, and we see it. It's bouncing right off the pages, man. Hey, it did a, a video um, the other day with that um, that Edomite. All right, he's pretty much uh, uh, you know brings all that news out all right, about what's going on with the D the DHS and all that, you know, and and what's pretty much going to come down you know the pipeline in these. Uh, um, you know, coming months. Hey, man, he, they, he said the same thing that Second Edges fifteen is saying, man. Same thing that Second Edges sixteen is saying. All right, famine. All right, uproars of people. Matthew's the twenty fourth chapter. You know, hey, the love of many waxing cold. Hey, people are gonna be breaking inside of other people's cribs, man. People are on edge. All right, to to want to just put each other to death. And hey, that's right out the Bible. None of this is gonna fail, man. We see all this coming to pass. All right, whether you can believe it or not, whether you see it or not, it don't matter, man. All right, hey, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right, if you want to, hey, 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 just like he said, man, the Edomite said, if you want to take your, you know, your 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 antidepressants, you know, and they live and they think that you're uppity and think that nothing is going on, you living in your la la land. All right, well, hey, eventually it's gonna it, it's gonna get to a point where those depressants and all that shit is not gonna help, man, because you're gonna have to face reality sooner or later. All right, you're gonna have to. Face that someone is going to be trying to get up in your crib, man. Someone is going to be busting down your door. All right, it's going to be death out here on a mass scale that you cannot escape, and it is going to be unfathomable to you, you know. And you will go through it. But it says, none, none shall want her mate, meaning you can't mate anything with this Bible. All right, no other books can, can be mated with this Bible, can be merged together with these scriptures, all right, and paired with the prophecies that Yahweh Shemal Shai has set up, because the Lord is the only true living power. It says, for my mouth it have commanded, and his spirit it have gathered them. And the Lord is gathering his men and his, and his righteous through this word. You know, and everyone else is being left out. Everybody else is going to be left out to, to be destroyed, man. If you're not serving the Lord, if you're not seeking to call on his holy and, and, and you know, uh, perfect name, uh, you will be destroyed, man. You will be caught up in his destruction that has to come, this famine that has to come. All right, the sword is to come, hey, as it says, and I'm going to just read it. Second Ezra 15 and verse 5. Behold, said Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And we see this, man. We see all this. All right, we see these plagues that are out here. All right, the, 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 the invisible killer that was going on in 2020. All right, had everybody put on a mask, man. You know, that's, that's, that's a plague. That's a plague that affected the world. It's another plague. You know that's going on right now, man. All right, we see the sword uh, rising up. Esau, he didn't want to take your guns away from you. You know, these people ain't going for that. These, these, these Second Amendment Edomites is not going for that, man. All right, what they're going to be doing, they're going to be shooting up the streets. 
Everybody gonna be raging out against each other, man. You know, it's gonna be like the Wild West. None but gunshots, a, a gun smoke in the air everywhere. Famine is gonna be at a mass scale. Death at a mass scale. People are gonna be eating each other. People are gonna be kicking kicking in each other's doors to get your food, man. Destruction everywhere. People destroying your houses. You know, people a creating Molotov cocktails, throwing inside of people's cribs, man. It's fires everywhere. It's gonna be it's gonna be hell on earth, man. All right, and they, me even just saying that is, is, is weak as hell, all right, because the Lord is, is, is going to really show it. It's going to be like a time never before, man. We're truly going to need Yahabah Shema Shai to escape these things. So, yeah, I'm, uh, yep, verse 4, 2 Ezra 9 and 4, says, then thou, then thou will understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. I mean, hey, this is the end, man. This is the end of so like this is the end of Esau Edom's rulership. The end of the age of the heathens ruling. This is the end. And the Lord is coming to cast all of this shit down, man. Alright, Esau Edom had a good time ruling. Alright, he had a good time, man. He had us inside of slavery, jacking us up, you know. Hey, he going to his parties, man, and on his yachts. And living it up, all that shit is done, man. And your con your country is falling right before your eyes. Your dollar is falling right before your eyes, man. Everything is falling. This is a beautiful thing, and this is all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shai, so that he can set up one that is profitable. Because this is a very wicked and evil world. World, and this place must go down, man. It says, even so, the time, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works. And endings and effects and signs, all right? And they, we're gonna see more and more of this, all right? More and more miracles are gonna be popping up. You know, Lord is gonna be miraculous, miraculously saving His elect, all right? A, a doing great destruction, all right? That we have never seen, all right? Just like as He did in the, in the time of uh, uh, Egypt, all right? Ancient Egypt, all right? When He was delivering the Israelites, all those plagues that was going on, gross darkness, frogs, you know. A insects, you know, a, a swarming and you know destroying their lands and all type of other things, man. All right, rivers turn to blood. Hey, we're gonna see more and more weird things going on. All right, because this is the end. This is the time where the Lord is gonna be visiting the world and showing showing His power. You know. And it says, and everyone that shall that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by His works and by faith. Whereby ye have believed. So this is how you're going to escape these things. This is how you're going to be delivered by Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, by your faith and your works. You know, the Lord, the Lord is going to deliver you. You having that belief in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and putting it into effect. All right, even if it's a hey, at the very last minute, man. You know, a hey, you hey, you hear no, they don't take that MOTB. You call the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, you don't take that MOTB and you lay your life down for the Lord. The Lord can aid. Hey, the Lord can deliver you for that. The Lord can have mercy upon you for that, all right, and save you, beam you up in those chariots, all right, because death is not a, a, a true thing, man, all right, death is just us parting this flesh, just parting this flesh, man, and we have to part this flesh one way or another, whether we be killed by a by, by physical man, all right, or whether the Lord takes up, takes our spirit up out of this flesh, all right, and gives us a new body, we're going to get new bodies regardless, man, you know, so, hey, just have that faith in your heart about Shemal Shai no matter what, sis. Hey, let me grab this. It's a precept the brother Shakaria had posted earlier. This is Sirach 1 and 28. It says, Distrust not the fear of Yahweh when thou art poor, and come not unto him with a double heart. So, yeah, we're supposed to be totally, um, you know, focused on Yahweh by Shemal Shai, all right, in, in his, in his uh, you know, his truth. You know, the faith that we have in the Lord, we're supposed to be holding on to that as much as we can and not wavering, not looking back. Not thinking, hey, damn, man, can the Lord save me out of this situation? No, don't distrust the, 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 the fear that you have in the Lord. You know? Hey, this is a second. It's like a, this is Sirach 2. And 12, it says, woe be to fearful hearts. Right? Woe means death and destruction. So if you have a fearful heart, a death and destruction to you, man. You can't have a fearful heart. The Lord said to be courageous. You know? In uh, the book of Joshua, the first chapter, we have to be courageous for Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Having that 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 courage for the Lord, knowing that the Lord can deliver us and bring us through anything. And even if he does, you know, let us let us die. Hey, so be it, man. We're still not gonna bow down to this image. We're still not gonna bow down to the way of Esau, you know. 
All right, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had that spirit. You know, that's the spirit that we got to have. No matter what, we're going to serve the Lord because the Lord is still going to fight for us. We know, that, we know that the Lord is real. We know that the Lord is a, a true living power. You no, know? he can do anything, man. If he, wanna, hey, if he wants you to go through this situation just so you can be purified, hey, you have to go through it, man. But we got to have faith. We can't waver. Um, read 12 over, it says, Woe be to fear, fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that go two ways. Woe, woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believe it not. Therefore shall he not be defended. So, yeah, you can't be double hearted. All right? You can't go two ways, man. All right? You have to have one master. And that master must be Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Lean into the Lord with everything that you got because hey, he is going to protect us, he is going to deliver us, man. He is a mighty power who can deliver through all through all things. Let's get about to verse 10. It says, Look at the generations of old and see, did any uh did ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And you can read all throughout the scriptures, man. And you can read Hebrews the eleventh chapter. All right, anybody that's trusting Yahweh Shemal Shah have faith in Yahweh Shemal Shah would deliver. Look at Noah. All right, Noah. No, uh, Yahweh Shemal Shai came to Noah, told him, hey, build this ark to, uh, to, to protect you and your household, you know, build this ark, you know, and uh, Noah went and built that ark, they continued to work on that ark, man, until the Lord, they uh, brought that flood, told, they told the people, prophesied to the people, what are they doing, eating, drinking, giving the marriage, not worrying about the Lord, we continue to walk in that great violence and wickedness, and what did the Lord do, he came and bring, bring, bring that flood, and he delivered Noah and his household. So it's the same thing in these times, man. You just got to continue to trust in the Lord and not waver. Because, hey, if you do, you will not be defended. It's the only way to escape that danger that danger and death and destruction that is to come. It's about seeking the Lord. It's not about getting a gun. It's not about going to a fucking martial arts class, knowing how to fight, man. <laughs> that's, a, that's what a lot of jakes think, think is going to protect them. It's carnal means. Carnal means are not going to is not going to protect you from spiritual things. You know, the Lord is going to, hey, this is, this is a spiritual thing, man. All this death and destruction that's, that is about to come out here, hey, it's going to be all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem al Shai. So the only way that you can escape these things is through the Lord, man. Second Ezra is 9 and verse 8, it says, shall, it says, shall be preserved from the sad perils, right, that danger, destruction, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. And that's, and that's the elect. Because the elect are going to have that faith, that those works and that faith to follow them. You know? So that they can escape the, the destruction. So that they can be saved by Yahweh Shema Shai. But it's all a predestinated thing, man. You can't make yourself of the elect. The elect is already going to be doing what the elect is going to do. But it says to put on as the elect. We don't know, we don't know who the elect is. So hey, we're going to continue to work and continue to put in... That, that faith that we have for Yahweh Bashem al Shai until the very end, so that we can make our calling and election sure, so that we can deliver, so that we can be delivered from this danger and destruction that's to come. So, hey man, I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Chakurash, the Wanas, our elders, and apostles of great millstone that do it well, and salutations and blessings to you, I can us push this word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.